YouTube, YouTube, you. Tube, it's your boy the Jock Doc, and we are back once again. This time for me to let you know where I have been for the last 365 days. It's been a year since I posted anything, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube. It's been a lot going on, it's been real crazy, but that's what this video is for, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna walk you through everything that happened from the summer through M2 year, all the way through where I am now, which is the beginning of rotations, and I could not go a step further without checking in and letting y'all know what's going on. So, let's get it. Now, for my last post at the end of M1 year, you know what I'm saying, I may or may not have told y'all that I was gonna go through the summer, you know what I'm saying, I had research opportunities lined up and I was gonna put out all these videos telling you my experiences and everything that happened over the summer and how it changed me. It was cap. It was all cap. I did nothing. I did absolutely Nothing that would remind me of school during the summer. I did my research projects and all that, but as far as like Going out my way to use like any extra time I had to create content It was gap. <laughs> I, I didn't think it would be like that at the time and once I got into like the 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 rotation of like Actually chilling. Oh, I chilled all the way out like I was cooling. So we gonna get into summer M2 year, kind of rush through that and get all the way up to what, what, what's really been like the main driver of the stress this year, which has been step one. All right, so like I, I said, like summer was cool, you know what I'm saying? I got, I had the opportunity to do uh, two research projects through the Massachusetts General Hospital. I will link the program below. Uh, ran up a nice little check, you know what I'm saying? Do I have anything to show for today? No. Uh, what did I do? Ball. And what did I do? Everywhere. Um, I really pretty much took the summer to do that program, run up a little bag, uh, not save anything, which I mm, don't regret, and just have a good time because this honestly the last summer that you get. So whatever you do, and make sure you make time to be productive during that M1 summer, but get out, live, you know what I'm saying? Because you know, it, 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 this 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 medical school journey just chips away at your like young adulthood. You gonna come out on the other side looking very crazy when you done been locked in and ain't did nothing for yourself. So that would not be my case. Um, I made sure I had a good amount of like free time to to recharge and everything before starting school back up. But when school started back up, like M two year is like honestly a blur, bro. Like we came back off of. Uh, what, cardio and palm from M1 year. So we picked up with renal, endocrine, repro, um, I'm forgetting something. Damn, what is it? Oh, we must still be traumatized. Endocrine, repro, damn. Renal, endo, repro, GI, and then multi-system diseases, which is like dermatology, MSK, like things that like straddle different systems that don't really like fit neatly into any system. And that's also our like quote unquote review block for step as well. So yeah, we came back off of that, we came back off of that break and literally the whole talk of the town was just like step one, step one, step one. Like what you doing for step one? How you studying? When you starting? Because now that we in the transition time for step one being pass fail, everybody trying to figure out the, the you know what I'm saying, the Krabby Patty secret formula for how much to study, how long to study, how hard to try, how much effort to put in to get above the line, but not like stress yourself out and still have enough like uh, mental, you know what I'm saying, capacity to get through the test and uh, be recharged to go into M2 year, I mean M3 year which is really what it became pass fail for to like save you some of that stress. So everybody trying to figure out what's what's that magic recipe, what's that formula to make sure that you do just enough to be ready. You know what I'm saying? Fatal error, fatal error. Wow, if you learn nothing from this video, if you learn nothing from this video, listen to my voice, listen to my voice, listen to my voice. Bro, step one is not anything you want to play with. 
I'm gonna take a lap and let y'all think about it. I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that, you know what I'm saying, marinate real fast. I don't think y'all heard me. USMLE is not anything to play with. USMLE should got hands. She's not the one or the two, or the three or the four or the five. And she will show you easily. Play with her if you want to. Play with her if you want to. I feel like from like, a student level, a like um, the upperclassmen level that was even advising us on like what to do, when to study, all this type of stuff. Even admin, like everybody was like pretty much clueless on how early, how soon, how much effort to put in because we heard like past failure. I feel like collectively everybody was like, okay, bet. It, it can't be that hard. <laughs> Is that right? USM at least said that and was like, okay, okay. Oh, she, sh she showed us, easily, showed us. I mostly got like a good, like decent start in like November-ish. Uh, started to do like review, you know what I'm saying? Getting my like uh, sketchy micro and farm and all those things done to make sure that I had like, somewhat of a knowledge base to even go into step. I'm not gonna even get into my like methods. I'm gonna do a whole separate video for that. We just doing a reflection. Just know the test is wild. Just know. Study like you trying to get a 567. Now I'm playing about it now, but of course when I was going through it, like bruh, step was easily one of the most academically, mentally, emotionally challenging darkest times of medical school hands down like you get into your routine with m1 and m2 like i know how to deal with a medical school exam like there's nothing that but being expected to uh, go back and con consolidate all that information um and regurgitate it on the test in this limited amount of time uh it's tough it's tough uh you gotta you gotta put yourself in the like the, the mental space of going through something uh every day it was days where i had like 15 16 hour days where it was just like straight content 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 i did that for three weeks took a practice test still failed like okay bet you go you 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 pick yourself up you go hard 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 fail hard 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 fail like <laughs> after a while you like hold up now like you you will be a fool to not like start questioning your own like intelligence after so many fails i think we're so used to as medical students stuff just becoming like intuitively or at least seeing some kind of like gains that just to fail over and over again can be like super damaging and super tough um but i honestly the way i dealt with it was just like restructuring my day to where i could not spend too much time upset with myself like got to the point where i did work throughout the day and will only do uh, practice tests, anything that was gonna be an assessment at night. So if the scores didn't come back like I wanted them to, what I'm gonna do? Good sleep, wake up, and we back at it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta step this way. The, the, the only way you can cry like during step period is in the book. Like let the tears fall on the page, but you 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 will study. You will continue to study. Like it, it's it's crazy, bro. But I do feel like I came out a lot stronger as a better student, more confident, and in going into clinicals, um, actually prepared and ready to go. So my first rotation is gonna be psychiatry. I'm gonna do a separate uh, video on that. Kind of got my entire uh, schedule figured out. I'm going psychiatry, family medicine. Um, OB, P's, or P's OB, I forgot. Then, neuro electives, IM surgery. So, what, so what we talked about, we got uh, summer, M2 year, step, and we finally at like the threshold of clerkships. You know what I'm saying? And, I don't know, a lot of people are excited about clerkships. It's very bittersweet to me. I'm not gonna cap in that. You can say what you want. Yes, we, we, we've been wanting to be doctors our whole lives. It's cool, we get to take care of patients. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's cute. It's, 
However, me being a person that likes my own time, autonomy over my own time, like preclinical, you know you had like four, five, six hours out the day that was blocked off to study. But what I do with the rest of my day, how I maneuver that and, and move that around was on me. Now I'm going into the point where like eight to 12 hours of my day will be like gone. <laughs> And I still got to fit in those other hours of, of, of studying and making sure I'm on top of the material to get through each shelf. And for those that don't know, shelf exams are the exams that's like little mini steps that's at the end of each uh, clerkship so you can uh, prove your mastery of the content during the clerkship. Please don't fool yourself into thinking that shelf exams is going to be easier than step one. Sorry. I mean, it ain't quite step two, it ain't step one, but you you take a little step 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 along the way. Shell exams are step one in a Gucci belt. It's the same, ta-da. Like, bruh, you gonna have to like study. So having that amount of time like blocked off, still trying to figure out when I'm gonna work out, when I'm gonna eat, when I'm gonna do nothing. I like to do nothing. <laughs> I like to do nothing. So I'm just preparing myself mentally for like, being able to go back into like the structured um, nine to five adult reality, like that's that's the threshold that we're looking at, and I don't I, I don't think that people talk about it enough. Like literally tomorrow, I will be like a working adult. It's M three, M four, residency practice, like. This transition is like the end of my young adulthood. And it's wild. It's disgusting first, but it's wild. The other side of it though, I do know that with my personality, I'm going to enjoy interacting with patients a lot more than being in the books and whatever trade off that has to come with is just what I'm just gonna have to deal with. So that's, that's, that's enough. I didn't I didn't, I didn't talk enough. I don't walk y'all through, uh, what, M2? right outside of my window going crazy. So as I transition into clerkships beginning tomorrow, y'all, pray for your boy. I'm gonna be doing like some uh, documentation trying to keep y'all in the loop, at least uh, put something out about each rotation, ideally, each rotation, but y'all know I be capping, so, you know, and so. so that's about it, that's the, so like I said, that's the plan going forward. Like I said, I'm excited as of tomorrow we, we out here, we uh, we 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 doing it. So, uh, like I said, I'm keep y'all posted with more things that happen along the way. Hopefully, I got more content, more videos, more everything coming soon. Just y'all know when it when it when it gets stressful, I, I drop off a little bit. But I got you, I got you. We gonna stay locked in, and I see y'all next time.